Okay, today we're looking at the eye. There are six different extrinsic eye muscles that are helping for movement of the eye from left to right, top to bottom, and to tilt, etc. Most of the eye is in, uh, in the orbital cavity, which is protecting it. Uh, so very little of the eye do you actually see. Most of it is, is covered. The very front part of the eye right here, this clear portion, is the cornea. And if we remove part of this so you can see a little better. The white portion um, on around most of the eye, around the back of it, that is the sclera. So as we take apart the eye to look at it, this right here is the iris. That is a smooth muscle, so you don't have any control over when it contracts. That is what gives the color of your eye, whether you have blue eyes or brown eyes, and that's determined genetically what color it will be. So this is actually smooth muscle, like I said, that is the iris. The hole right here, that is the pupil, and yes, it actually is a hole that's allowing the light into the, the eye itself. So now if we look at the interior portion, the eye is divided essentially along the iris here, will help divide the eye into two parts. Um, this is the anterior segment here. Fluid can drain, a kind of a watery fluid from the lens through the, um, around the iris to the front. Like I said, this is the cornea. Now, behind the lens is the posterior segment of the eye. And we're going to remove this. So this front section right here, this would be the lens. The lens can change shape. Uh, it can contract, it can lengthen out, so that it will project the image of whatever it is you're looking at to the back of the eye along here. So it will adjust its shape to project the image right here. From the cornea to the back, this is essentially the posterior segment, and it's filled with this, which represents the vitreous humor. It actually is a gel-like substance um, that helps the eye to keep its shape in the posterior segment. Now, in the posterior segment, the innermost layer here, this is your retina. That is where all of your photoreceptors are that are picking up the light and then transmitting that impulse through the optic nerve in the back here to the brain, to the visual center, so interpreting what it is that you're seeing. The photoreceptors are your rods and cones, and those are embedded within the uh, retina. Most of the cones which allow you to see color are right along the back section here, and then on the sides are where most of the rods allow you to uh, see black and white. So rods let you see black and white, cones let you see in color. 